So I'm back again. Today I'm going to be uh, making uh, our sattvic pakora. It's called cabbage pakora and we used to have it in this restaurant uh, called Krishna in uh, KL, Kuala Lumpur uh, growing up and uh, my mom kind of like replicated the taste at home. So for that I have about um, three cups of uh, green cabbage cut up and I'm going to be adding um, salt to it. And also my mother's secret ingredient was uh, the sambar powder. Her sambar, my mom's sambar powder is just like to die for. Uh, I've added <clears throat> both of that there. I'm going to let that sit there. And I have a bunch of um, cilantro that I'm cutting up into a fine, I'm cutting really fine. And all of this has to sit. Uh, I'm going to start um, actually incorporating the basin and uh, all the other um uh, herbs and all of this has to sit for about 10 minutes till uh, the cabbage starts to leave water that's why i added salt first thing it's there and i have a bunch of curry leaves they're about uh, 20 25 curry leaves or uh, if you have a curry leaf plant at home go ahead use more more the better but here i had to buy and it's available only sometimes in the sense that um, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's like really sketchy and uh, this is uh, pudina from my uh, mint plant at home I have about uh, 20 leaves of pudina here so as this is done what I'm going to do is this is my basin <clears throat> got to move this away I'm just going to start mixing it in before I put the basin. I want it to start to leave water and then I'll add the basin. So I'm going to be doing this for the next uh, three to four minutes or so because I want uh, uh, the salt to partially cook the cabbage uh, and like, you know, with the heat of my hand and the salt, it will... Uh, turn soft the cabbage will turn soft this is what you're looking for as you can see uh, it's started to leave water and it has turned uh, soft to the touch i'm going to be adding basin i've added about one uh, cup so far <clears throat> just going to push it and i've turned on uh, my um, oil for deep frying just a little bit is enough and do that again Push it all in. A little bit more. So basically you just have to eyeball it at this point. And you need to look for a certain consistency. You can uh, eat, uh, actually make uh, balls out of the um, cabbage and uh, chickpea flour uh, basin. Or you could uh, not make walls like either would work so just look for the right consistency there it should not be watery <clears throat> it, it'll form into a ball like this this is what you're looking for that's the right consistency i'm just going to wet my hand a little bit so that it's easy for me to put the pakoras in the oil I just poured like uh, put in like a couple of uh, drops of water that's all I put and uh, this like you know uh, if you want it really soft you could uh, let the dough or the batter so to speak sit um, if you want it really um, crunchy just make it immediately and serve it immediately Don't crowd your um, oil with too much of the pakoras because uh, they'll not cook well then. I'll probably be adding six or so. 
don't try this uh, in a panyaram pan or um, yeah it's not going to really taste the same and uh, it will probably not cook as well so just don't try it um, some things are best uh, deep fried I guess See, it cooks really quick. Give it uh, 30 more seconds before I take all the first batch out. Done. And I'm just going to flip this around a little bit. Uh, you could add a little bit of chaat masala before serving, but uh, my mom used to just serve it as is, so that's what I'm going to be doing as well. Um, and um, uh, what um, the way this is served in our house is like um, either for like an appetizer or sometimes uh, we would just have it with some tomato rasam rice and. Uh, this pakoda like uh, it's a substitute for the vegetable uh, if you're not making a vegetable for that day like my mother would just make this and it used to just like literally like we would eat the rasam sadam or the rasam rice without any protest so that is that take out I'll take this out a little bit more maybe about 30 more seconds just gonna make this like this uh the key to this is like you know you had to fry it as soon as you uh mix in the uh, the basin of the chickpea flour uh, that way it does not consume too much oil as you can see it's hardly consumed any oil so i fried off uh fried up all the Pakoras and there it is. You can uh, serve it with uh, any green chutney or uh, you could have it with coconut chutney as well. It will taste really good. Or you could just have it plain. That's fine too. And uh, yeah, or you could have it with some rasam and rice or with uh, yogurt rice. Pretty much anything. There it is. Our thanks once again for watching the making of cabbage pakora. Please like, subscribe, and share, and comment down below what you'd like me to make next. Thank you.